Uh, and I'm going to say this now because this may be the only chance I ever get to say it. My, I've read everything Mary Janice has ever written, I think. I think, as far as I know. Unless you've written your life it's down. The special down. thing that stars you, Charlotte. <laughs> <laughs> gorgeous guy sees the girl ringing the bell on the corner. Santa Claus. And I thought, oh, I just love this. Isn't this every woman's wish fulfillment? Because she can't believe he's asking her out because she doesn't think she's very pretty at all. She's short and stocky and, uh, you know, just like, she looks like anybody who would wear a Santa Claus suit and stand on the street for <laughs> <laughs> And he asks her out and he thinks she's, she's just wonderful. And they go out to dinner and they sit next to a really gorgeous woman who makes a play for him the whole meal and he completely ignores her. And I thought, I'm just loving this. <laughs> <laughs> I am just loving this. Is this not a dream come true? Mm -hmm. That he smells her and he knows she's the one. <laughs> and I just I thought, I just I just love that. It's not based on physical appearance at all. So. Well, and, you know, big Scandinavian stock, you know, you, uh, unless you look like you can hold your own on a farm, just not sexually attractive to us. <laughs> <laughs> she can't have more than five or six children look at her hips. <laughs>
butthole, <laughs> <laughs> elbow to rib cage, um, and in the bookstores there's all kinds of it, which I think the best thing about great the genre is there's a zillion subgenres. Um, Charlene mentioned Regency earlier. If you um, you know if you don't if you want to write about a, a mummy who's come back from the dead to find her dead grandma who's a zombie and then fall in love with her old counselor from camp, well, the romance section. There's going to be 